Hey Peaches, so it's been forever since I've done a favorites video and so I thought I would do one for the month of September. I have a little bit of everything so I'm going to start with books because I only have two of them and I think that not everybody is interested in what I am interested in reading, but here we go. So this first one is called Bible Wisdom for Your Life and it's the woman's edition. I'll give a topic and then they kind of just give some verses around it and it's really short. Uh, but it's important if that makes sense because I feel like sometimes devotionals are either really short and they don't have a good message or they have a good message and they're super 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 long so this is good uh, in the mornings before I go to work to be able to do this one the next one is called if you know who you are you'll know what to do and this is an interesting book um, I actually got this for free at this little place that we have where I live um, where they always give away kind of free uh, books and things at the front of the store and so anyways we were there and I looked at this and it just seemed too interesting not to get especially for free so this is about um, well doing the right thing when when it's the right thing to do it and living just with integrity like it says and it's I guess interesting to me because the way that they describe integrity in this book is not how I had pictured it. So next I actually have two hair products. I know Sarah the cosmetologist having something to do with hair. Weird. But I've been using these pretty much in my daily routine and if you guys want to see an updated one of those just let me know. My hair is almost to the length that I want it to be before I do whatever I'm going to do next. So these are two kind of higher end products so they are on the more expensive side of life. The first one is from KMS California and it's from the line called Free Shape. The product is called Quick Blow Dry. So basically what this is, you spray it all over your hair. It does have a conditioning factor to it though, so I try to kind of stay away from the top of my head so that it doesn't get oily throughout the day. Um, but focus on the ends of your hair, spray this all throughout when your hair is damp and it helps blow dry your hair so super quick. I have a ton of hair obviously. Um, it's all the way down my back and my hair is not the thickest but I do have a lot of it so this helps to blow dry so that I can get on with my day a little bit quicker and I highly recommend this if you have thick hair or if you have um, long hair that's on the thinner side either way if you have a lot of hair this is a good idea the next is from caviar anti-aging you guys might have heard of this brand before um, they're kind of popular more in the salons and everything and that's where I got both of these products was from the salon I work at um, this is the Rapid Repair Spray. It says Instant Shine and Moisture. Let me tell you why this is my favorite product ever in life. It's because I like to have blonde hair, but blonde hair does not come out of my head naturally. I remember being in school um, and I had blonde highlights and I said, I'm not going to do this anymore because I can't get a, a brush through my hair. This is ridiculous. So my hair was super damaged um, and I didn't know what to put back in it to help it. If you spray this all over your head, if your hair is super tangly, this just, I don't even know how it works, but it's like they just melt. So on to makeup, I'm such a nerd for foundations. The first one is CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I got this quite a while ago because you guys were talking all about it. The top's really disgusting, sorry about that. I really like this. If I would have gotten the right shade of this, it would be absolutely perfect, but that was my own mistake um, and I really like this when I just want to go a little bit lighter so I just put some of it on my fingers wipe it all over my face and I'm pretty much done with my foundation because it is a three-in-one so my next two makeup products kind of have to do with skin too the first one is the Maybelline New York baby skin pore eraser um, primer when I first got this I hated the texture of it but it's grown on me and I almost am completely out of the whole thing because I love it so much if this was a lotion-y type of consistency, this would probably be my favorite primer ever. The next one I've had for a long time as well, but I kind of, well not like a long time, but anyways, I've had it for a while and I just kind of forgot I had it. It's the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind um, okay, mm, Concealer. This is perfect for under my eyes, and I'm not sure when I first got this where all I was putting it, but I think I was just using it like a regular concealer all over my face. Um, but this definitely brightens up under my eyes. Last but not least with the makeup, I was super, super not okay with trying this because um, it was pretty expensive. I think it was up to $10. But it's the Maybelline New York um, Color Tattoo. It's like a, a eye cream type of thing. It's an eyeshadow, but it's creamy. And I really like this. It's the color Barely Branded. And this has been compared to something from MAC, but I can't remember if you know what I'm talking about. 
uh, comment it down below. But I like it and it stays really well and it's a super, super gorgeous color on your eyelids because it looks natural but shimmery. So now I have some clothing items and I'm going to move through these pretty quick so this video isn't 20 minutes long. Usually when I say that it ends up being 19 minutes long. But anyways, I got these shoes at this place called Bell's Outlet, um, which is something we have in Georgia. I don't know if those are everywhere or not, but they just look like this. They're little flats. My first pair of flats, indeed. And, um, indeed. Anyways. And they have these cute little studs on them, so I'm in love with them. And I love the front. I want to say that's called something about a cat. Is that how that is? It's called kitty something when it's cut like this? No, I don't know. This shirt from Target, and it's a Nirvana shirt. It's super cute, if you can even see it. The front is a little bit shorter than the back, um, which typically I don't like. But it doesn't show my belly or anything, so I'm good with it. And it just looks really worn like this, and I like that type of uh, worn used old style looking shirt. Something that kind of goes along with that that I also got from Target is this Jurassic Park shirt that I've been wearing so much I'm sure that people don't think I wash my clothes anymore um, but I love it and it's super comfy. This was in the men's section but the Nirvana was obviously in the girls section. Is that obvious or is it not so obvious? If it's not obvious I like t-shirts because one of the other ones that I wear so much that again I'm sure people don't think I do laundry is my Skomish shirt. This is from Superfruit if you guys haven't watched them. Um, they're like my favorite YouTubers almost ever. I think ever. Yeah. They're super funny and I thought when this came out I would be thrilled to support them by having this shirt on and I've done nothing but because I almost wear this more than any other clothing item. I'm getting weird. On to the next thing. I got these two little shirts when I was down at my grandma's house and so I forget which store I got them from. The reason that I like both of the ones I'm going to show, which is this one and another one, is because they don't feel like denim. They're, they're softer, um, but they don't feel like fake denim either, if that makes sense. This is my other one that looks kind of frumpy to be honest on me, but I still love it. I use it more kind of like a jacket, but it's just the denim material and it's a lot lighter long sleeve looks like this so anyways that's it for my september favorites i hope you guys enjoyed all of my awkwardness i know that you most definitely missed it leave down below what you want to see next from me and if you've tried or worn or like or dislike anything in this video let me know below and let me know why um and if you've tried something if you like it or not also before i in this video I have to say I'm so excited for it to be fall weather and to do fall videos and have fall fashion and everything and it helps that it's October and my birthday's at the end of this month and I'm going to officially be an old cat lady and I cannot wait. I hope that you guys have an awesome day today or tonight or wherever and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget that you suggest and I do my best. I'll see you guys there. Bye!